How's it going, guys? We've been blue eyes, and it's been a while since I recorded, but here I am, and I've got my first squad ready. Uh, my first recruit is uh, Linda Fry uh, from the chat room. Myself, Big Blue. Uh, totally not Master Chief, as you can tell. And uh, Nobuko Utaku from uh, England, I guess. Anyway, so we're going to go on this mission. And uh, let's do this. Uh, I want to make sure that everyone who watches has a chance to be a soldier in here. So if you want to be part, just leave a comment. And I'll see. You'll honestly, considering my subscriber count, most of you will likely be in it at some point or another. Uh, just by commenting. So, yes, here we go. Ooh, this is a good map. So first we're going to do is we're going to move 117 over here to full cover. He's a... He's got a, um, a dash ability, and looks like there's nobody, so we'll move him up one more time. Kind of a risky move, but his shotgun will more than make up for it. Then we got myself. Uh, I'm going to move myself up over here by the truck, because I'm pretty tanky. I can take it. And the difficulty is on normal. I might move it up to classic later. I just want to get some recruits leveled up a bit and get some stuff from the uh, officer's academy. So we're going to move everyone up. And make sure my two in the back are overwatch. Probably should have done that to the people in front, but we'll work with it. Alright, so it's the alien's turn to move. If you don't know what XCOM is, and I'm honestly surprised you're watching this video, if that's the case. Oh, whoops. Son of a... Also, my controller is old, and sometimes the stick sticks. So that's dumb and annoying. So odds are, if you see a terrible move, odds are, I really did not mean to do that. <laughs> Ah, so here we go. We're moving everyone up. Uh, no A. Oh, there they are. ALMAOs inbound. Hello. I'm going to call you E.T. and Squishy. Because you're extraterrestrial and you're squishy as hell. So we're going to move uh, the recruits up. There we go. Overwatch. I'm going to try to do at least a mission or two per episode. So this could easily become... A longer series. I'm sorry I haven't been recording and uploading lately. I've really been wanting to, I swear. It's just that things haven't really worked out that way. Uh, I had a Dead Space episode recorded and I just lost the footage. And looks like someone's gonna take some damage. Oof. That's a big hit. Well, not really, but it's like a third of her health at this level. Let's see if I can. No, just screw it. Grenade. And reach it over there. Very good. Boom. Bombs away. And I'm going to count that as a double kill. I think it counts as a double kill. For I believe that was Linda? No. That was the Japanese girl. Very well. Okay, let's move Blue and Chief in the building. Make sure we utilize the full cover as per... Oh, there's more of them. <laughs> I'm a bit rusty. I can feel a, just a tiny bit rusty. Uh, not used to talking so much. I'm probably messing up the audio horribly. I'm going to have to spend so much time fixing it in post. But I feel like these episodes will be good uh, length for me to cut. Uh, they shouldn't be more than 10, 15 minutes at most, so they're relatively quick and easy to cut and upload. There we go. And most of the stuff I'll be cutting is stuff in between. Research projects, scanning, stuff like that. So, yeah, there's not going to be a lot to cut out. So it'll be fun. It'll be easy. Maybe you'll get emotionally attached to some of these soldiers. Probably not, because these guys die faster than cheerleaders in a 80s slasher movie. <laughs> Although, honestly, they tend to go out like heroes more often, so that's cool at least. Alright, so let's move John up. He's actually one of my first recruits, so I think... Let's see how close he is. Let's, uh, let's activate Run and Gun which, if you do not know, allows me to move into a dash and then have one additional move, either an overwatch or a fire. And we're at close range, so 100%. Boom. And there are some additional options uh, that I've... I beat this game, so I've unlocked additional options and stuff like that. Some of them... Uh, let me think. Uh, I th what was it? I have disabled the tutorial, and I'm not doing Iron Man. I'll do my best not to be a safe scumming piece of garbage, but... I won't save scum. <laughs> I, I just don't want to. 
I've never really liked the idea of playing a game like this where there's so much at stake, and then all of a sudden you're just like, nope, nope, no, no, nothing lost, nothing lost, no risk. Because I think that's boring. Uh, that's, that's the reason I don't like watching like TV shows like Dragon Ball anymore. It's because it just kind of became pointless. You always knew Goku was going to win, and it's okay if the hero always wins. There's nothing wrong with that. And we finished the first mission. Very nice. But... When a TV show just has, like, no point to it, like Dragon Ball does, it just gets to a, uh, like, where you know the main character is going to unlock a new ability, and Goku is just kind of a selfish, worthless hero. Alright, uh, let's give, um, some upgrades. Ooh, we got a support, that's good. Congratulations, Nabuko. And Linda, you are, whoops, I didn't, I didn't check. Okay, thank you. Uh, let's head to the barracks. And let's view soldiers. There we go. Another heavy. Very nice. That'll be useful to have uh, later on. Now I think I can go over to the situation room and unlock some more stuff. Okay, so let me check that real quick. Japan and Canada are having a bad day, it seems. I guess Canada's uh, you know, open policy on aliens coming in isn't helping them too much. But uh, we've got another upgrade. Let's see what it is. I am the own biology risk the lives of our troops so we can take one of these things alive yeah. sounds like a good plan Without a live specimen I'm afraid we've yeah blah 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 point is uh, you shoot an alien with a taser and uh, that's it <laughs> you get to capture them and you get their weapon so you can a uh, I should probably absorb that there we go. I think I can check my options real quick, like see what second wave options I have. Uh, no. Let me check my difficulty. It doesn't say what I have, but I've got some second wave options on. Uh, I think, uh, there's one that gives all flanking shots, you know, at automatic criticals, which is nice. And, let me think, uh, randomized starting stats is a good one for just, you know, more interesting recruits. And part of me really wishes you could name uh, your ships. I don't know if you can. Maybe I'm just stupid and never saw it. But I would totally give all these guys like Top Gun names. Like a uh, Maverick and uh, Goose and stuff like that. Maybe maybe Merlin or Iceman. I think that would be really cool and a good way to you know give you know a very important unit some more, you know, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, some more... Individuality, I guess. Let's bring a new person on. Uh, we need... Are all my supports down? Yes, my my only support is down. Let's get a sniper in there. Let's make him... Let's make him cool. Let's make him black. And there we go. That is that is wonderful and edgy. We're going to call him... Ah, well, if he survives, we're going to call him something edge. There we go. Second mission. Now, we can actually see some of the different ways uh, soldiers play off each other. For example, the sniper has no immediate uh, benefits. I mean, pfft, what am I saying? Of course he has immediate benefits. He's a sniper. So, you pull... Uh, snipers tend to stay further back, but until you get squad sight, he's just going to be a slightly further range uh, assault class, really. So, we're going to move the assault up. Make sure he's nice and cozy. Oh, and there we go. Aliens right off the bat. I hear my dad thumping around. I guess he tripped a little bit in his room. All right, so we're going to move uh, Big Blue. We're going to move him up behind the tree. There we go. He's within sight of an alien. And now Fry. I guess, uh, if you don't know, the, the heavy units have rockets. And they can get extra grenades later, which is very nice. Especially later on when you have these guys who can just deflect damage. And it's a pain. And he created a mind link. So that guy's got, uh, I think all stats are boosted. And every unit, say for the, the squatty, I think, or a rookie, something like that. It's one of those has a, uh, like an inherent ability they can use to uh, level the playing field a bit or give their buddies a little bit of an advantage. Now, uh, let me think. The sniper gets this uh, ability so he can throw a tr like a tracker out and he can... Uh, Spy on the aliens from far away and increase range and all that. So let's take a shot. I'm not going to try to uh, spend too much time talking and not moving at all. 
because that's why I stopped watching Northern Lions Let's Play of this, because he's a nice guy. I like his videos a lot, and he's made some good ones. Particularly, uh, let's see, do I, do I chance it? Can my grenade reach over there? Yes, not gonna chance it. He's a nice guy, and he seems like he makes good videos, and I like his Dark Souls stuff. But I could not stand his XCOM video. The first episode, he spent, I think, six minutes just talking and not saying anything, you know? Like, he would just talk for six minutes and then move one character. And I'm like, I'm not, I'm not gonna sit here and listen to you jabber on for the rest of my life. I got, I got things to do. I got other YouTubers to watch. I got games to play. So here we go. This is a crash mission. I should have said that earlier. It looks like we're forcing them back. If you kill an entire enemy's group real quick, they just fall back. And it's like, okay, let's move our units up. Shoop -a -doop -doop. Hide behind the log. I'm really hyper right now because I'm super excited. Uh, I haven't recorded in so long. And I forgot how much fun it was to record. And honestly, this is turning out much better than my first attempt to record XCOM was. Where it was just boring. And I was like, oh... This situation with these individuals, you know, all that, just was not, was not a good, was not a good at all. Let's bring my sniper up. My end goal is to get my sniper up here eventually, hopefully, maybe, if I'm lucky. But as it stands, I don't think I'm going to be able to get him there in the next turn or two. So let's, uh, let's move him up. Come on, John, you can do it. There we go, bring out the pistol, can you, you have a shot, take it. There we go, he, he, uh, he nicked his, nicked his little finger a little bit, gave him a nasty paper cut. That's right, E.T., just run away, go home, as it were. He double moved. Uh, the aliens are a little bit OP in some respects, like they can, uh, they can see you, and then they can move, and then they can move again, and it just seems like they get, like, three moves the first time you see them, and I hate it. What? Oh, I'm not leveled up yet. Right, right. So, I got doxxed, actually. Well, not doxxed. I got name dropped. Uh, not on, like, a video or anything like that. Uh, playing GTA, of all things. Uh, I was playing GTA, and some hacker asshole named 420 Body Bags was, like, uh, he was just cheating all around. Uh, he would kill you without even looking at you or having his gun out, and it was just a pain. So I was like, hey, you're a hacking asshole. And he's like, oh, really? Then he said my name, and he said, I live in your town too. You know, insert my town here. I'm not going to say it in this video. And then he started saying a ton of stuff that you couldn't know, like, you know, just by playing someone once. Like where I lived and stuff like that. And that was, like, that was kind of scary, I have to admit. Let's make you Overwatch right now. And I guess we're going to move these two over here because there's only... What, a uh, sectoid over there? We don't need a ton of guys just hanging out, you know, worrying about that. We'll move the three over here. There's bound to be more sectoids over here than there are over there. And if we really need to, I can bring them together again. Oh, okay, so he came stupidly close. And John missed. Thank you, Chief. I hope I'm not too close to the mic, because if I am, that's embarrassing. Why is my room so hot? Like, God. Oh, I guess the heater's on next room because my dad's taking a shower. But oh well, point is, it's hot in my room and I hate it. So John's gonna, you know, just execute him. Very nice, John. Well shot. And now I can start moving him over here to support the rest of the guys. Let's move Baby Blue, or Big Blue, rather. Yep, and a Watcher. These guys are a little bit tougher. Uh, they've got more powerful weapons. I think they've got the light plasma rifle. Uh-oh, he's got a shot. He's got a shot. No, he doesn't. No, he doesn't. Okay, perfect. So, I think I can... Do I have a shot? 40, I don't like that. Uh, let's move Let's move her up. If she has a shot, or better yet, she'll probably have a grenade available. 24, not liking these chances. Uh Chuck a grenade. Chuck it. Chuck it. It won't let me chuck a grenade. Oh, it's a rocket. That's why. Okay, so, uh, grenade. There we go. Nice throw, Fry. 
And that should be everybody, yep. That is another mission down, no operatives lost. Very good, very good. And in the next episode, uh, I'll be turning the difficulty up to classic, so you'll be seeing more recruits die because that's the best part of XCOM is to see people get murdered. So I'm gonna sign off now. Oh, as soon as my there we go. Okay, promotions. Baby blue, another assault, very nice. And corporal chief. Uh, we're gonna give you tactical sense. There we go. So that is XCOM. I hope you enjoy. It's Big Bay Blue Eyes signing off. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you next round when we probably lose like 50 guys.